Landed. What the heck is that? What is this? Expecting something. Preparing for something. Look over here. Let's walk over here. Come on, come on. Let's walk over here. What's up, Night God family? Night God here, and I've got something super cool to share with you today. So I've been working on sprucing up my place a bit lately, and Legendary Wall Art just sent me one of the most stunning pieces I have ever seen. Seriously, if you're looking for a way to bring some personality and style into your home, these guys have you covered. Legendary Wall Art specializes in high quality, one of a kind pieces that really make your walls pop. Whether you're into vibrant landscapes, jaw dropping abstracts, or even minimalistic designs, they have something for everyone. The craftsmanship is incredible and the attention to detail in their prints really blew me away. It's not just about filling up wall space, it's about making a statement. What's even better, I've teamed up with them to get you an exclusive discount. All you have to do is head over to legendarywallart.net slash nightgod and use code KYLE25 at the checkout to snag 25% off your order. Trust me, you don't want to miss this opportunity. Just been released. A search is ongoing for a Navy aircraft and two crew members who crashed east of Mount Rainier in Washington State Tuesday, according to the Navy. The EA-18G Growler, based out of Naval Air Station Whidbey Island, Washington, crashed just after 3.20 p.m. local time during a routine training flight, the Navy said in a statement. Multiple search and rescue assets, including a U.S. Navy MH-60S helicopter, launched from Nass Whidbey Island to locate the crew and examine the crash site, according to the release. As of 7 p.m. on October 15th, the status of the two crew members remains unknown. No additional details were given and the cause of the crash is under investigation. The Navy 18G Growler is an electronic attack aircraft that is a variant of the FA-18 aircraft. The missing plane was the Electronic Attack Squadron 130, known as the Zappers and is the oldest electronic warfare squadron in the Navy. The squadron had recently returned to Whidbey Island after a nine-month deployment in the Southern Red Sea to maintain the freedom of navigation in international waterways. I'm not gonna lie, I find it funny that this happens surrounding the crash landings of who knows what in Washington, Raleigh, and Indiana. And it's an electronic warfare squadron, an electronic aircraft. That's very peculiar. It seems as though Something is going on, maybe in our atmosphere or whatever, that is taking out electronics of possible aircraft and causing them to crash. I'm not sure what it is, who knows, but this could be related and I have a feeling it very much so is. Crazy stuff guys, crazy stuff going on, unprecedented. I believe there's electronic warfare going on, some sort of EMPs. It could be the EMPs are extraterrestrial in origin, who knows but something is going on, especially now that this Navy craft has crash landed and the two crew members are missing. So the fact that they're missing, let's put this into perspective. The fact that they're missing, their electronics were taken out. So does that mean that they couldn't eject? Does that have something to do with the ejection? So I asked ChatGPT and they said, yes, ejection systems do require electronics to function properly. The ejection process involves several electronic and mechanical systems that work together to safely eject the pilot from the aircraft. For example, sensors detect the right conditions for ejection and electronic components help to time the sequence of events, such as canopy removal, rocket activation, and the deployment of the pilot's parachute. However, many ejection systems are designed with backup mechanisms in case the electronics fail. According to ChatGPT, they do rely heavily on electronics and it's hard to say whether the backups even worked. I'm gonna go ahead and say they weren't able to eject, which tells me there's something going on with electronics in our atmosphere, whether it be an EMP or something along those lines. 
That's why these aircraft or airships are falling out of the sky. It's hard to say for sure, but it makes one wonder. This jet was actually flying a couple days after the alleged UFO incidents in Washington. So were they doing recon? Hard to say, but there's something going on that's unprecedented. And I think it has to do with something taking out the electronics of craft in our airspace. I'll let you know if I hear anything else, y'all. And after this, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the initial aircraft crashes in Raleigh, Washington, and Indiana. So keep watching. All right, y'all, breaking news. Mysterious airship crashes reported in Washington, DC, Raleigh, North Carolina, and Indiana have sparked confusion and fear. Eyewitnesses describe strange lights, silent movements, and eerie crash landings. Authorities remain silent as conspiracy theories and speculation continue to grow. In an eerie sequence of events that has left both the public and authorities scrambling for answers, strange reports have emerged about a series of massive airship crashes across multiple states, with eyewitness accounts from Washington, D.C., Raleigh, North Carolina, and Indiana feeling rampant speculation. The mystery surrounding these crashes deepens within each passing day as communities reel from these bizarre incidents. One question remains at the forefront of everyone's mind. What exactly is happening in our skies? Unsettling events, strange airships, and mysterious crashes. Over the past week, a wave of perplexing airship sightings and crash reports have surged across the United States, sending shockwaves through major cities and rural towns alike. The most notable crash sites have been reported in Washington, D.C. and Raleigh, North Carolina, with additional sightings as far as Indiana. Each of these incidents has raised serious questions about the nature of these airships, what they are, where they're from, and most importantly, why they are suddenly plummeting from the sky. At a time when air travel and aerospace technology are under the spotlight, these airship crashes have created an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty. Are we witnessing an unprecedented technology malfunction or is there some far more sinister unfolding above our heads? On a seemingly ordinary night in the nation's capital, residents were jolted awake by an otherworldly noise reverberating through the midnight air. Within moments, eyewitnesses began reporting a massive trail of smoke streaking across the sky, followed by a deafening crash. Emergency sirens wailed in the distance, and within minutes, the crash site was teeming with responders, military personnel, and a flood of confused and terrified onlookers. One witness described the scene in vivid detail, capturing the confusion and fear that gripped the city. I don't know what's going on right now, the eyewitness stammered. I heard a noise. I come outside. There's sirens everywhere. And then I see this enormous trail of smoke in the sky. It was huge, like nothing I've ever seen before. And then boom, something crashed, but no one is saying what. Washington, D.C., a city known for its political and military significance, is no stranger to high-profile security breaches. However, the lack of official explanation regarding this crash has only stoked rumors and conspiracy theories. Was it a government experiment gone wrong, an alien invasion, or something far more insidious that authorities are deliberately keeping under wraps? All these testimonies are oddly consistent, with many witnesses reporting similar features, silent movement, pulsating lights, and a complete lack of engine noise. This has led many to question whether these airships were extraterrestrial in origin. Perhaps the most unnerving aspect of these incidents is the way authorities have handled them. In both Washington, D.C. and Raleigh, local and federal officials have been frustratingly tight-lipped, offering little in the way of explanation. Despite the massive response from emergency services and the swift arrival of military personnel at the crash sites, there has been no official statement on what exactly crashed or why, with some suggesting that the crashes are part of a covert government operation involving experimental aircraft. Others believe that the crashes are the result of alien contact. As of now, there are several prevailing theories regarding these mysterious airship crashes. Some of the most prominent include Experimental military aircraft. Some experts believe that the airships are part of a top secret military project involving advanced craft. The crashes could be the result of a malfunction or a test gone wrong. Two, extraterrestrial technology. Given the strange characteristics of the airship, silent movement, pulsating lights, and their massive size, many have speculated that they could be of extraterrestrial origin. Could these be alien spacecraft that have crash landed on Earth? Weather related failures. Some scientists have pointed to unusual weather patterns in the areas where the crashes occurred, suggesting that severe atmospheric conditions may have caused the airships to malfunction. Military and aviation experts have weighed in on the incidents, though many have expressed confusion at the lack of clear data available. Some suggest that the airships could be experimental craft from a foreign government, possibly undergoing tests in secret. Given the tensions between world powers, it's not far-fetched to consider that a secretive test could be underway. On the other hand, UFO experts and enthusiasts are seizing on the opportunity to claim that these crashes are proof of alien invasion. Just when the world had thought it seen the strangest of crashes, another unsettling report emerged, this time from Raleigh, North Carolina. 
The sequence of events mirrored the Washington DC crash almost eerily. It began with reports of strange noises in the night, followed by a plume of smoke streaking across the sky and culminating in a massive explosion. Local authorities in rally were quick to respond but remained tight-lipped about the details. Speculation has been rampant in the community, with some residents drawing connections between this crash and the DC incident. One rally resident who witnessed the crash firsthand offered a chilling account. It was around midnight. I hear this loud rumbling noise and then the sky lit up like it was daytime. Next thing I know, there's this crash and I see flames, but no one's telling us what's happening. All they said was to stay indoors and the police sealed off the area. With two major cities reporting similar crashes, attention has now been turned to discerning any possible patterns behind these incidents. Are these airships part of a coordinated event? Is this a coincidence? or are we witnessing the onset of something much larger? Analysts and conspiracy theorists alike have been poring over the details, attempting to unravel the mystery behind these crashes. But perhaps the most unsettling theory gaining traction involves extraterrestrial interference. Could these airships be alien in origin? And are the crashes a result of human contact with forces beyond our comprehension? While this notion may seem outlandish, across Washington DC and Raleigh, and even in rural areas of Indiana, Eyewitnesses have come forward with their own accounts of each of the crashes. Each story is more chilling than the last. In Washington, D.C., one witness described the airship as massive, metallic, unlike any plane or aircraft they had ever seen. Another observer claimed that the ship moved silently through the sky before it began to spiral out of control. In Raleigh, an eyewitness reported seeing strange lights emanating from the ship before the crash. It didn't look like anything man-made. The lights were pulsating in a way I can't describe. Then, it just fell out of the sky like a rock. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Is it of extraterrestrial origin? Do you think that they're UFOs that crash landed? Or are they man-made? Is the government testing new technology you or I haven't been exposed to yet? Or do you think it could be foreign adversaries over our airspace and we knocked them out with an EMP or something of that sort? It's hard to say if we'll ever find out exactly what it is. But given that there was that Navy aircraft that crashed in Mount Rainier, and it was a jet made specifically for electronic warfare, that's saying something to me. Very interesting to say the least. Let me know what y'all think again in the comments. Stay in the love, stay in the light, be kind to others. I am out.